Hi there, in this video I want to talk about a new feature that was actually introduced in Gordon 4.4 Dev2 so a couple of months ago but it is so so useful that when I checked it out in a previous video checking the main things coming to Gordon 4.4 lots of people actually said whoa this is something super amazing so I wanted to dedicate a whole video to it and I'm basically talking about typed dictionaries so a dictionary is a data type that allows you to store both a key okay these are the keys and each key has some kind of value so this is super useful for when for example you want to uh, save and load the data or when you basically want to manage larger portions of data okay in more advanced programming or, or development itself or even for simpler things it can also be super worth it because uh, dictionaries have existed in Godot for a long time, but the, the thing is that now they are typed dictionaries. Um, so they can basically, their values, uh, their keys and values, remember keys on the left, values on the right, can now be directly assigned in the inspector. So this is such a huge time saver because if not, as you can see, what you have to do is to type all these things inside of the script and that would make them not super useful uh, as, as they could be. But well, with this feature, this is amazing, okay? Once again, I'm going to use uh, for this video, go to 4.4 dev2, but if you use go to 4.4 uh, dev6, I think dev7 is the latest one, you would still be able to enjoy this one. But just to avoid messing up with even newer things, I will just be using this version. So how is this uh, actually declared? Well, you use the export annotation. Just for you to know super quickly, what is an annotation? It is basically a modifier that will determine how a variable is treated inside of the uh, Godot engine and editor. So in this case, the export annotation allows you to set the values of a variable inside of the inspector. Well, then the variable keyboard. Um, colors dictionary and in this case you must use static typing okay and you write a dictionary followed by square brackets and then the exact data type uh, that uh, both the key and the value will have in this case it's going to be a dictionary with a string keys and color values so this means that let me make this a little bit bigger i will have this new key new value so for example i can do new color red and assign any kind of custom color red that i want you know maybe a red like this maybe something like this okay so i can add then that key and value pair and for example then i just want a green okay so i will create my own custom green maybe something like this and lastly i will add a blue color maybe something like that i don't know so there you have it okay and the good thing is that you can then reference these keys quite easily so you can do color reg dot color and make it equal on ready to color dictionary and here between square brackets you put the uh, values okay sorry then the value that you want in this case the red color that is inside of this red string this is a super simple example this could be actually a usage if you have you know a skin color or something like that uh but well in in real development there can be much better examples but i just want to show something super quick and then if you understand this you're going to be able to apply this in any project that you may have so right now I'm making this equal to color red, so I should see basically a red color all over uh, the screen. And there we have it, and then I can just go ahead and do this blue. Okay, and there we have it, and lastly we also had green, Did, didn't. Uh, green. There we have it, okay. More importantly, for example, they can be used to create an inventory quite easily so let me delete this code over here and in this case for um an inventory you have the string which would be the inventory item name and then for example an integer with the number of items that we currently have so for example i know um let's save the changes so the inspector here should update uh or well let's try to delete this and over here we have it so um, for example, we may have no, a potion, okay, and we have 10 potions, for example. Uh, and then we may have, I don't know, um, arrows, okay, I have 7 arrows. And lastly, I also uh, want to have a helmet, I don't know, and I have 3 helmets, for example. There we have all the data. So, for example, now if I wanted to modify any of these data, what I could do is print. And for example, let's say that I had here, well, this is not my colors dictionary, this is my inventory dictionary. 
okay i hope i hope that this doesn't get deleted yes it did so let me create something quite similar in a second okay so there we have it and now let's grab our inventory dictionary let's access for example the potion okay and let's just print it and then what i want to do is to modify this data so let's say that the player has consumed one potion so uh, we can actually access this as if they were independent variables so inventory dictionary potion we have to be accurate with the strings minus equal i don't know why it was written there minus equal one for example and i will print it once again so we should firstly see what happened over here i don't know why it disappeared okay there we have it uh, it is a little bit buggy i believe sometimes but well there it is um so we should see first the potions initially we have five then we consume one so we should see five the, and then a four so there we have it five four okay and i will delete this color right because it, if not it will drive me crazy so there we have uh, the, the actual value that this has of course you were still able to do this before but you weren't able to assign the, the keys and the values over here you had to type them here which was kind of annoying and also something quite interesting that you can do is basically store dictionaries inside of dictionaries. Once again, this is something that you are able to do through code, but you are also able to do it here. So I create a dictionary with a string as the key and a dictionary as the value. So, uh, for example, for the key, let's say that we have an AI settings over here. So I know AI dictionary. And I will create, okay, firstly, a setting for the aggressive Actually, in lower cases, I believe it would be better, aggressive. Okay, and for the dictionary, let's say that we would have different stuff over here. So, for example, we are going to be having a float, okay, with the speed that this will have. So, maybe, I know, 20 of speed. I'm sorry, firstly, here I have to put the key name. So, this would be a string. So, string name, uh, or well, not string name, just string, isn't it over here? Well, this one should be, so this would be speed, and the new value is going to be, for example, a float. So once again, here I know 20, okay, and we press add a key value and person. So now the dictionary has, we have a dictionary, AI dictionary, and inside of this dictionary, we have a new key, which is aggressive. Okay, and inside of this aggressive dictionary key, we have a new dictionary with a speed of 20, okay? And for example, we can add here as many stuff as we want, so now we have speed, and let's say attack range, okay? And let's make this attack range four. So add key value pair, and there we have it. Now, note how in this in this case, purple box, we have the values of this new dictionary, okay? But outside of that box, this is a new key value pair, but for the, let's say the core, the root dictionary. So let's add a new key over there, and let me close this one. So for this one, this is going to be the uh, defensive. Uh, AI um, and once again I will create here a new dictionary and for the new key for example as you can see it also saved the setting so I have here a string and here a float uh, so for the new key let's for example okay once again let's uh, do the same thing so we have a speed okay and let's give it a speed as this is going to be defensive maybe it is even a little bit faster and also here in attack range as this is defensive let's also make it much bigger okay this is just a pretty uh, maybe a more useful example but well uh, i believe that you are now going to be able to understand how all this is going to be working and the easiness of doing this instead of having to type all this over here of course dictionaries still have a downside and that's the fact that they are quite sensitive so if you don't type things perfectly then when you want to access them in code you're going to receive an error uh, but well it's something that you can uh, modify quite easily if you if you screwed it up so well i hope that you like this video and i will see you in the next one bye bye if you are serious about leveling up your godat skills check out my course in less than six hours, you'll master Godot fundamentals while building this amazing project. Links in the description. See you there.